In this video, we'll examine the end behavior of graphs of polynomial functions. Now, when we were talking about our basic graphs, we saw that y equal x squared looks like a parabola when x was 2, y is 4. And when x is negative 2, y is 4. So our parabola looks like this. Now, if we were to graph y equal x to the fourth, we would see that right around the origin, 0 to the fourth power is still 0 and 1 to the 4th power is still 1. Negative 1 to the 4th power is still 1. But when x is 2, uh, it's a little higher, but it's still a positive y value. So y equal x to the 4th power is still going to have this same basic shape at the ends, both arms up. Also, if I were to look at y equal x to the 6th, right around the origin, we have 0 to the 6th power is 0, 1 to the 6th power is 1, negative 1 to the 6th power is 1. And uh, when x is 2, it's, it's a pretty large number, but it's still a positive y value. And the same way when x is a negative 2, it's still going to be a positive y value. So for all of these graphs, some things that we can notice is that uh, the exponent is even on all of these functions. And our end behavior is both arms up at the ends of the graphs. So our end behavior is like this. So this is something that we'll want to keep in mind when we graph polynomial functions. Now if I wanted to look at y equal negative x to the tenth power. We have an even exponent, so I know that the ends are both going to be pointed in the same direction. But because my coefficient is a negative, I'll reflect the graph across the x-axis. So the graph of this is basically going to be looking like this. So very important when we're looking at polynomial functions and graphing them, the end behavior, if the function behaves like y equal x to an even power, will be both arms up or both arms down. Okay. Now, if I were to uh, talk about y equal x to the third power. This is one of our basic graphs. And recall that when x is 0, y is 0, because 0 cubed is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is negative 1, y is negative 1. And then when x was 2, 2 cubed is 8, so y was 8. So we had our number up here, our point was here, and then when x was negative 2, negative 2 cubed is negative 8, so our point was down here. So our graph of y equal x cubed looks like this. Now 
Now, continuing on the same line here, y equal x to the fifth power, right around x equals 0, when x is 0, y is 0. And when x is 1, y is 1. When x is negative 1, y is negative 1. But when x is 2, I have to take 2 to the fifth power. So it's going to be way up there, but it's still going to give me a basic graph that looks like this. So our concept here then, when we have an odd exponent, our end behavior is right arm up and left arm down. So keep this in mind. And again, if I had a negative lead coefficient, it would still be one arm up and one arm down, but it would reflect across the x-axis. Um, y equals a negative x to the seventh, right around x equals zero. We'd have y equal to zero. Um, but if x is positive 1, 1 to the 7th power is 1, but then I'd need to negate that because of this lead coefficient. So I would have my point at y equal negative 1. And also, if x was negative 1, this part of the problem would be a negative 1, and then I'd need to negate that because of this negative. So I'd have y equal positive 1. So my graph would look like this. So it's still going to be one arm up, one arm down, but this time uh, the left side is up and the right side is down. Now let's do a couple of examples. We're asked to describe the end behavior of each graph. And our first example is f of x equals negative x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus x minus 8. Now you'll notice our dominant term here is negative x to the fourth power. So two things to notice here. First of all, we have an even exponent which means both arms uh, at the ends of the graph will be pointed in the same direction. And then the other thing to notice is this negative coefficient. Instead of both arms pointing up, my end behavior for this particular function is going to be both arms down. Now on this one, we have a dominant term of x to the third power, so our exponent is odd. Our lead coefficient is positive, so our end behavior is going to be right arm up and left arm down. And then on this example, our dominant term is x to the sixth power. The exponent here is an even number, and our lead coefficient is a positive 1. So recall that whenever the exponent is even, its both arms will be pointing in the same direction. And so the end behavior for this graph is going to be both arms up. 